salve, salve pessoal, sejam todos bem-vindos ao canal mais uma vez, eu já estou aqui para a nossa próxima missão. Como combinado, vamos então ouvir o que tem a dizer Lorenzo de Medici. Quando eu era seis anos, eu caí em Arno. Eu soon encontrei myself drifting down e em darkness. Certo que minha vida was at an end. Instead, I walked to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacobo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they were with Jacobo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. E essa é a lista de conspiradores. Jacopo de Pazzi. The money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family. And he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de Medici. He had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. Muito bem. Além do alvo original que a gente já tinha, temos mais quatro cabeças para fazer rolar. Quatro no chão. Bom, galera, para mim chegar em Eu preciso chegar em... Ah não, é aqui a missão. Então vamos lá. Hum, Leonardo. Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. 
Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design. For delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Um, agora sim, a próxima missão pra gente fazer é lá em Monterigione. Mas essa missão ainda tá curta. Então vamos fazer o seguinte. Vamos pegar uma viagem rápida. Aqui, ó. Esse camarada aqui dá um jeito de levar a gente pra Monterigione. Em um salto. Prontinho. Viajamos. Doidão. Vamos pegar o dinheiro no cofre. Vamos dar dinheiro para esse maluco. Bom dia. Fazer reforma. Salute, Sr. Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Hum, já acabou. Bom viagem. Ezio, <laughs> come in, come in. To what do we owe the honor? Been sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who isn't? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scout to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. Got something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, 
I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. Ok, vamos fazer então mais esse treinamento. Alright, Ezio. You're familiar with counter-attacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection <laughs> against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro. Teach me what to do. Now dodge! Bene, bene! Now do it again! Much better. One last time now. Bravo. Droga. Droga. Por que não tá dando certo? Agora deu. Let's see it another time. Just one more time, Ezio. Boa. Magnífico. Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. Muito bem. Esse foi o vídeo de hoje. Eu não vou me estender para ele não ficar muito grande. Hum... Mas é isso aí galera, conto com o like de vocês, espero que vocês tenham gostado, e se você não é inscrito do canal e chegou aqui por acaso, por favor eu peço que você se inscreva e assine o sino das notificações para ficar por dentro dos próximos conteúdos, beleza? Mais uma vez agradeço a todo mundo que me acompanha até aqui, fiquem todos muito bem e até o próximo.